So I created a new update for Cyberscape Pro. I basically rebuilt the whole system to create a key feature of this new update, which is the roads. So first of all, if you already have bought Cyberscape Pro, you can just re-download the new file. Okay, so let's go through all of the updates of Cyberscape Pro. So first of all, you can see that the road textures are pink. That is because the files are missing. And this is because Blender can pack videos directly into the file, so we have to relink them. All you have to do is go to File, External Data, find missing files then just locate the folder called traffic plates which is included into the download and click find missing files hit save and restart the blend file and now all of the textures should be there first of all you notice that the whole city layout looks way more realistic than the old one now we have these building blocks with roads in the middle and the buildings are not only in a square shape like in the previous version let's go through all of the new settings in the modifier tab we have these different preview modes so let's select roads only only, and this gives us a better view of the layout of the city. So we have this road layout and these empty blocks are where the buildings are going to be scattered. You have control over the scale of the building blocks and the amount of roads with the subdivision 1 and 2. Of course you can change the seed of the whole layout. So some of these roads are merging and intersecting, so you have also a slider to control how many roads there are merging. You can also control how far the points of the road have to be to be able to merge. Let's move on to the building shape section. You have the slider here to control how far the buildings are away from the roads. The building division controls how many buildings there are in between these blocks of the road. You also have a slider to delete buildings. Some of the buildings have this inserted shape with the hole in the middle, so there's also a slider to control how many buildings there are with this kind of shape and you can also control the scale of the insert and just like in the old version you have control over the mixture of high and short buildings and also control over the height of each of them. The building detail settings pretty much stay the same. You can control the width of the roads, but just make sure if you change the width of the roads to adjust also the scale in the texture settings for the street texture. So on top of this road system, I scattered video files of more complex traffic. You can turn these off and on with this button here. And you also have control over the density, the scale and the rotation and the set location of these traffic plates. All of the roof settings stay the same from the previous version. Now there's also a slider for the radius of the neon tubes. The settings for the neon ads stay the same. Just import your own logos into the ad collection and they will be scattered throughout the city. And there's also a radius control now for the red points. So that's it for the geometry nodes. But there are also some updates for the shaders. The window light slider turns off individual lights on the buildings. Now you can also change the colors of the window lights with this color ramp right here. And you also have the slider to change the strength of the colorization. So that's it for all of the new amazing updates of Cyberscape Pro.